Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Edge 50 Ultra, and today I will show you how you can record screen on this phone. So to get started, you will want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen, and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Disregard this uh, automatic like page flip. Uh, by default, obviously, you will be located on the first page, and somewhere between these pages, you will find a screen recording toggle. Let's see if I can quickly find mine. Oh, there we go. It's on the second last page, right over here, screen recorder. Now, can click on it. It will bring up window, letting you choose what kind of audio will be recorded under this drop down. So, you have microphone, system, both or none. I'm gonna select system. Then, we can also record the camera. So, selfie cam. Uh, which is a I'm just gonna create a like a small circle somewhere on a screen and we can also record uh, touches on the screen as a semi-transparent gray dot I will enable both of those just so we can see how that looks like anyway from there select start recording gives you a countdown now we can actually turn it on and off for instance the camera right here as you can see in terms of sound it looks like we can switch it on the fly while recording so that's also pretty nice and we can also draw on the screen You can open up applications that you wish to record. Just showcasing the camera right here. Oh, no Netflix for me to show. Oh well. Anyway, um, once you're done recording, you can click right here on this red square. This will automatically save the screen recording to your photos application. So let's find photos, which probably will be in the Google folder. There we go. And here you can see the screen uh, recording being visible um, in the photos tab. It is labeled as a screen uh, record. You can click on the text itself and this will take you to the album, which contains only screen recordings. And from here you can click on it to view it. Now, uh, I opened up a single application which will be recorded, I think, but there are applications that you might not be able to record. And such an application will end up looking as a straight up black screen when you're playing it back. You won't know that it's not really able, your screen recorder isn't recording it uh, correctly uh, until you basically just play it back and see that all you have is a black screen. Uh, this is a feature of Android that is designed for privacy and security of the user. Unfortunately, it's abused by uh, shitty companies that, that use this to basically prevent uh, prevent things like piracy. Uh, if and there are people that actually pirate it by recording it, which is dumb. Um, and yeah, it's just in general annoying, annoying nuisance as there is no setting for you to change once you find an application that will be utilizing it. And there are a decent amount of applications that have zero business using it. There is no reason for them to have this. And yet they do, and you can't do anything about it. Now, anyway, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.